Oh my wonderful friends, welcome back to your last day of our garden project. Um, if you remember, today you're supposed to re-listen to my garden and kind of listen to all the silly things that she grows in her garden. And then I want you to look at your picture and I want us to just review the things that plants need to grow. Okay, so remember our plants need soil, say soil, soil. Our plants need space. Can you say space? Remember, they need space to grow. They need light. And when you're outside, the light comes from the sun. And they need water. Okay? So today is just a fun, easy day for you. All you are going to do is draw pictures of your silly plants growing in your garden. Because your garden has all that it needs for your plants to grow. So I'm going to take my crayons. And I'm going to draw. I'm going to start over here first, right over here. And for my first one, I'm even going to draw some, some roots coming out of it. And those roots are going into the ground because that's what happens with a seed. And then I'm going to show it popping up. And if you remember correctly, this one was my favorite two colors. So I'm going to draw a stem. We'll learn more about plant parts, I think, next week. And then I'm going to take my two colors that I used. I said that my favorite colors were um, per, er, blue and yellow. So I'm going to draw a blue and yellow flower. And I'm going to kind of do a pattern. And then I'm going to color it in kind of silly because this is this is the colorful plant that I wanted in my garden right okay so that's my first one um, now for my second one this was the one that you were supposed to pick a design for so this plant is going to be my purple polka dotted plant so I'm going to draw those roots you could even draw the stem coming up and then it's going to sprout into a beautiful, hmm, let's see how I want to do this. I'm going to make it a green and purple polka dotted flower again. So I have two types of flowers in here and I used light green as the background, and I'm going to draw purple polka dots. All over my flower. All right, can you guys see that at all? Um, a little bit. I'm sorry, guys. This camera is not the best, but that is all right because we work with what we have. Okay, our next flower or plant, this one's not going to be a plant. This is going to be my pizza plant. So I'm going to draw those roots. I'm going to draw the plant coming up. And at the top of this plant, I'm going to have a piece of pizza. And I might even draw multiple pieces of pizza if I wanted to. And I'm going to take my red for the pepperoni. That's silly, isn't it? That looks like a piece of pizza. I might even add like two more just because I want my garden to be full of pizzas. And that's just extra detail. I know I don't have the seeds at the bottom, but this is a silly activity anyways. So this is just for fun. So I do some pizzas. Okay, and then my last one was paint. Remember, we picked an object. So I'm going to draw the roots coming out. Then I'm going to draw, and since I kind of put this in there, I'm going to draw a tall plant. Remember, this was my, um, my paint. So what I'm going to draw is I'm going to draw like a paint palette. And you can draw your favorite toy, remember? You're drawing your favorite toy. I'm going to draw paint coming out. So like one of those artist paint palettes. And that's it. Let me see, I'm going to shade it in. 
and I can't wait to see your guys's because I bet it will be a lot better than Miss Anderson's. But your garden is all finished. Please, please, please send me a picture so I can see how awesome your gardens turned out. And if you want to be go a little extra, remember you can label anything in your picture and be sure to add details. Um, if you want to add like a tree to decorate your garden, that's all right too. So I'm going to label Pa-ain-za. Pa-ain-za. And then flower. Flower. Very nice, you guys. All right. I can't wait to see yours. Bye, guys.